Hi everyone! <laughs> Robin Bush here. I'm walking to work on the most beautiful fall day. It's a little chilly outside so I had to walk extra fast trying to work up that sweat. And uh, I so wanted to say <laughs> I watch these sometimes and I'm like I'm always looking to the left to the right looking around well you gotta watch your surroundings here especially when you're crossing the street gotta pay attention and sometimes people will zoom by you on a bike <laughs> and scare the mess out of you so <laughs> you gotta be looking around you I just wanted to say hello and hope you're doing good it's a uh, Friday, thank God it's Friday, and uh, walking to work. So, um, get ready to cross the street here. So, I uh, wanted to give you a little piece of my heart today and let you know that I care about you. And if I didn't, I wouldn't be doing these videos because some people think I'm pretty silly or crazy for doing them. But uh, while I walk, you know. And try not to sing to you right now but uh, like the song says he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me that I am his own and then the weights of this world they grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace I know I didn't get the words quite right but you get the point anyway I'm talking about my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and I wanted to share a piece of my heart, like I said, with you today. And I also want to look into your heart and your mind and see how you're doing on the inside. You know, we uh, go through life and we're doing good. We're taking care of our bodies. We're eating healthy on this diet group that I'm in. And we're exercising, we're taking care of the flesh, taking care of our bodies, make sure we live longer and that we're healthy. And we can live to see our children and grandchildren grow up and do good in life. And that's all good and it's all necessary. But there's a little bit more to it than that. So I wanted to share with you today a little bit of my spiritual background. I might have mentioned a few things before, but uh, people think because I'm always so happy and joyful and things seem to be growing great that I have this perfect life well let me clue you in on that one because I didn't uh, from a little girl I had some problems back then some things that happened to me some struggles and you take that into your adult life and made some horrible uh, decisions and things in my adult life and done some not too pretty things that I'm not proud of and uh, so have we all right the Bible said that we've all sinned and fallen short. But see, this is where the difference came in my life, is I found Jesus. I needed a Savior. I need someone to deliver me from the filthiness of my flesh. And Jesus came into my heart and to my life. I invited him in. you got to let him in. He's not going to break in. So that's one thing is I, I wanted him. And I wanted a better life. And that's what I told the Lord. I said, Lord, I want to... I know there's got to be a better way. You know, all this heartache, all this pain, all this that you're going through, it's not necessary. You can have a Lord in your life, and you can have a better way of life. So, my heart to you is, yes, take care of the, the physical. Take care of the natural needs of your body by eating healthy and exercising and, and living right. But also, don't forget about your spiritual needs. Your spirit man needs fed and exercise just as well. So take time to feed yourself in the spirit, and that is with the Word of God. That's what's going to keep you. That's what's going to get you through the next trial, the next tribulation in your life. And we all need Jesus. I hope that this doesn't offend anyone because I know everyone's not a believer. But I'm just telling you what I found to be true in my life, okay? So I'm not judging you, and I'm not pushing my religion on you. But whatever it might be, 
you need to feed that spiritual man because that's the one that's going to survive. And the one that you feed the most is the one that's going to win. So you want your spirit to win in the long run because the flesh is going to die. The body's going to die. But where's your soul going to go? So that's my question today. Where's your soul going to go? Are you going to have eternal life? So uh, you feed your spirit man uh, with the word of God. You exercise your spirit man by praying and fasting and doing things that strengthen you you know while you're going through these trials and tribulations it's hard it's not easy and I've been through them but I'll tell you what since I found the Lord my joy is something that I can't turn off it's always there and you know I have some times where I'm sad or depressed you know human flesh that's the flesh part but the spirit man knows that God cares. The Spirit man knows that I will live again and see Jesus and all the people that I love that have died and went on to be with Him. So I want to encourage you today to take that step of faith as you're taking care of your body, eating healthy and doing what's right. I want you to also think about getting into the Word of God and getting some encouragement there to help you through these struggles. Uh, being overweight is sometimes a problem you know because those of us that have struggled with this know that when we have problems and troubles everybody has a different escape route some drink some take drugs you know some just have to find their way of escape and if you're not into drugs and drinking smoking or whatever then you eat so you start eating to comfort yourself uh, through all these trials and tribulations and that's what happened to me is uh, through the problems from being a child and uh, the things that I went through and um, carrying into my adult life and the choices that I made weren't so pretty so I ate to comfort myself and I um, gained tons of weight uh, with my first pregnancy I wasn't married and uh, things weren't quite right in my life and I gained 85 pounds uh, just trying to cope and you know um, the choices that I made and do the right thing so um, that weight I've carried uh, for years and I've been struggling up and down to get it off and now is the first year that um, I've really made some success here and it's gonna be long term I'm not giving up I'm not giving up I'm gonna keep on trying I might have a bad day I had a candy bar yesterday <laughs> kind of messed up my day but it doesn't mean that I have to continue on into today. So, being with that struggle, you know, you have a bad day, work's too busy, you get overwhelmed, and I'm like, I need some chocolate, I gotta comfort myself. So, that's the way it is for me. You know, everybody's different, like I said. And uh, I just uh, wanna encourage you today to uh, look into your spiritual heart and your mind. And if you're struggling and your food is your comfort, I found out in the Word, and I prayed the word, and you've heard me say this once before in a video, if you watched it, is that the Holy Ghost is our comforter. So I said, Lord, why do I turn to food for comfort when I should turn to the Holy Ghost? So um, I want to encourage you to try, just try to pray, try to read your scriptures, and uh, find the ones that encourage your heart. You know, there's a scripture for everything in the Bible that can help you through any situation. There's nothing new under the sun. Everything you're going through, somebody else has already went through. So uh, turn to God, you know, just ask Him for help. And if you don't believe right now, just step out in faith and say, God, if you're real, uh, I need you to fix this for me. And, you know, this is through experience that I've come to know the Lord and Savior in my life because I've reached out and things that nobody else knew, God knew. And when I asked for specific things, He answered me in a way that I knew it was Him and no one else. So, uh get a little teary I just part of the wind and part of my uh, emotional part of me being in love with Jesus and what he's done for me and how he's changed my life and um, I got the spiritual man fixed first and now I'm working on the natural but you also have to maintain the spiritual uh, while you're working on the natural so um, it's a lot of hard work and it's you know every day we struggle and every day you have to start over and I want you to know something that God's mercy renews every day and just like if you fail at your diet if you mess up on a day and you have committed a sin or you've done something you knew you shouldn't have done then uh, tomorrow start fresh and start over don't give up don't keep going 
but you know keep trying and keep striving you know it took me a long time to get saved and to get my life cleaned up it doesn't happen overnight and it's one thing at a time you know you have so many multiple sins in your life and things that you struggle with that you have to just take care of one thing at a time so I want to encourage you today and I want to look into your heart and tell you that I love you and uh, just know that God loves you too he really does and he is there for you you know, and you say, why all the pain, why everything that we go through in life if there is a God? Well, it's all part of the plan. You know, Adam and Eve sinned. It goes back a long way. So um, I've accepted that it is what it is. And I know God is there and I know he cares. And this is not what he wants for us, is for us to be through suffering and pain and sorrow all the time. And uh, he created a paradise for us and we messed up. So, um, so we just have to uh, push forward, you know. P-U-S-H, push, pray until something happens. That's my encouragement for you today. Pray and don't give up. Pray for your family. Pray for your loved ones. They need that prayer. They need that support. If it wasn't for my mother praying for me every day, God knows. I don't know where I would be. So I want to encourage you today. I'm here at work, so I sat down to talk to you for a few minutes. And i um, got to get in there and start working. I have like five minutes, so I want you to know that God has smiled on me. He has set me free. God has smiled on me. Yes, He's been good to me. And He wants to be good to you. So you be good to yourself. Continue with everything you're doing. And, uh, Remember the diet groups I'm in are on Facebook and you can join any challenge. Look us up and if you're struggling uh, spiritually, maybe you're healthy and you don't need the dieting, but you're struggling spiritually, if I can help you in any way, I'm on Facebook, Robin Bush. Um, look me up and let me uh, try to help you if I can, okay? God bless you and have a great day. Bye-bye.